Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pager here once again with another video on Arrow Season 7. So as I'm sure a decent amount of you are aware of by now, there over the past two weeks or so roughly, there were a few uh, casting descriptions released onto the interwebs that showed us a few new characters coming to Arrow in Season 7. One was a new rookie cop, one was a former military member turned street fighter, and the last one was a new tech wizard, or tech whiz might I say, called Daniel Porter, who going by his description seemed like he could actually be a character that many people have been looking forward to seeing on the show for quite a while now, and that is of course, Blue Beetle. And for those going, hang on, Daniel Porter, he isn't a Blue Beetle in the comics. Yes, we know. But in the hiatus, so the time in between seasons, the casting calls usually have fake names, especially if they are comic book characters, as they don't want to give away any of that information before the season actually starts. In the middle of the season, they are usually the opposite. Most of the casting calls have the proper name of the character in, well, the casting description. But as we went over in the past week in regards to the Flash and a new character over there in the form of Cicada, we have some audition tapes for this character of Daniel Porter who have like appeared online. Now I will leave them linked in the description down below if anyone wants to watch the entire audition tapes for both of these guys. But before we jump into anything to do with those audition tapes, let's quickly go over that description of this Daniel Porter character once more. He is an intelligent and homosexual technological entrepreneur whose creativity has given him a huge success as a businessman. But having gone through tragic losses in his life is something he hides from the people around him, thus struggling with shaping new relationships with others. But let's jump into a snippet of each of these audition tapes. So the first is from an actor known as Miles G. Jackson. What took you so long? Usually you're here before me. Dan, we gotta talk. I agree. I'll go first. We, no, you're not proposing, are you? I mean, it just it couldn't be worse timing because actually I have to talk to you about Relax. Something. Just open it. I get it. I mean, I love croissants, but... I finally found a buyer for my magnetic levitation tech. They're a company called La Fantastique based out of Paris. Everyone else told me I was crazy saying that I could make anything light as a feather, but these guys are totally on board. They're hoping to utilize it in construction, and boy, did they pony up big time. Holy crap, this is genius. You're a genius. And here is another snippet from the other audition from the actor known as Oliver Thompson. Hey. Hey, Chris. Your man just told you that he now earns more money than the King of France. Why do you look like I've just kicked a puppy? I'm getting back together with my ex-husband. No idea you guys were still talking. I wasn't. I mean, he recently showed up at my work, we started talking, and then we realized that we've been missing each other. I thought you said he thought your life was too dangerous. It's complicated. I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. I was actually going to ask if Helix wanted to invest. Ouch. Look, Daniel, you are the smartest man that I've ever been with. And did I mention adorable? You don't have to do that. But to break down what plays out in this scene, which in my opinion at least seems like it will be in next season, or at least a version of it with a few tweaks here and there, we have the character of Daniel Porter meeting someone for dinner. This person that Daniel is meeting with is his partner, and he is telling them that he has just had a buyer for the tech of his. So he is a quite rich person now. But Daniel's big day and night is hit with a big slap in the face as his partner tells him that they are in fact getting back with their ex-husband. But who is this that Daniel is actually talking to? Well, it is actually Curtis, as in Curtis Holt, as in Mr. Terrific from Team Arrow. Not only does Daniel say Curtis, but Curtis also refers to Paul, being this ex-husband. So that looks like how we will be introduced, or at least how this new character will be connected to everything at first. Daniel also says that he was considering asking Helix whether they wanted to invest, and by that I'm sure he is referring to Helix Dynamics, the company run by Felicity and Curtis. Um, that's what I'm guessing he's referring to. So if this is the first, or even just one of the first times that we meet this Daniel Porter character, then he isn't going to be getting off to the best of starts, is he? Now, based off that short scene, you would almost think that this would be a setup for a villain of the season, but there is a few things that support that not being the case. The first being, would you really be that triggered and just annoyed by a breakup that you would become a villain? It would be a very CW thing to do, but yeah, I can't see that happening. But as I said, this character is rumored and theorized to be that of a blue beetle, whether that be Ted Cord 
or possibly even Daniel Garrett. The fact that he is a tech entrepreneur heavily leans him to being Ted Cord though, because Daniel Garrett in the comics is like an archaeologist. And there is one moment in the scene that made me go, hey, that sounds like something that would be useful as Blue Beetle, especially for the wings side of things. And that is when this Daniel Porter character says that he finally found a buyer for his magnetic levitation tech, which would make things light as a feather. As we've seen in the past with characters such as Mr. Terrific and various pieces of tech in on the Flash, inventions and various technology designed for one purpose can easily be configured to fit that of a gadget or tool for a hero. With the possible addition of Blue Beetle, is there also the possibility of overcrowding, which some already see as an issue with the show? And the answer is, well, yes. That is a risk they are playing with introducing another character that could be like, you know, the Adam from season three and the role that he played. But with a character like Blue Beetle, I don't really mind that as it is a character that has been long teased on the show. So it would just be awesome and almost like a relief to have him show up. Also, they did say the storytelling this season on Arrow is going to be much different than what we've had in previous seasons. So that could be in reference to how they swap to and from various groups, or even if like different people's stories are playing out in different times. So Oliver could be three months behind the others. That Like that's a stretch and could be messy. So let's not even consider that an option because if we think it's an option, the writers might be like, hey, that's a good option and use it. And then it could just be extremely, or just give us a migraine to be completely honest. But thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome if you could drop a like on the video to show support. Let me know in the comment section down below your various opinions. Do you think this character is going to end up being Blue Beetle? And out of those two audition tapes, which one uh, did you prefer? Did you prefer the first guy who is uh, Miles, I think it was, and the second guy who was Oliver? Just let me know your opinions in the comment section down below. Which one would you prefer as the character if you had to choose between these two? And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you later, guys. Goodbye.